What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I've got a quick little tip and trick tutorial for you and this will actually be a two-part tutorial so in today's video I'm going to be talking about adding people in Revit so adding uh, people families <laughs> I guess that sounds kind of weird but anyway adding people in Revit and just placing them around so you can enhance your uh, your views your 3d views your 2d views everything and then in, in tomorrow's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Photoshop and what's the difference and when you should use each one of these options. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file that I'm using, check out my Patreon first link in the description. And I'm also going to be uh, uploading all of these people, families up there uh, on my Patreon. But anyway, let's get started. Here, as you can see, I've got a simple a little floor plan over here. And if I just uh, walk around and look into the floor plan, as you can see, we've got something over here that looks like a person. Also, here we've got this line and this one as well. And that's pretty much all we can see in this floor plan. Now, if I go into the 3D view, as you can see, we've got some people over here. So this is that outside person so as you can see in the realistic mode so when this is set to realistic this looks kind of weird uh, it's got these weird colors for all of the all of the limbs and everything I'm guessing this was exported from some sort of a uh, 3d animation program like uh, like 3ds max or something like that so we've got this option and this is a 3d human now, uh, there's a bunch of these on Revit City, and I'm going to be including the links in the description of this video. So if you want to check that out, just uh, check out the description of the video. But this is pretty much the only 3D person you can find. It, it looks like this. You can't really find a 3D person that actually has uh, good looking clothes and everything like this. So that's what we have as far as 3D people go. So we can kind of orbit around. And this looks decent enough, I guess, in hidden line views. I guess you would need to change the colors so it's only white, but yeah. So if it's in one of those views, for example, if we go over here into one of these 3D views I've already set up, let's see. Yeah, in this view, when it's just like this, like a gray person, I guess it, it can look decent enough for uh, for your renderings. But yeah, that's, that's just uh, as far as you can go with 3D people. Then let's go back to the 3D view. And then we've got this woman over here, as you remember from the floor plan from her position, you can probably tell she's that little line that's over here. Yeah, as you can see, that, so that's that line. So now if I go here, yeah, you can see it's just an image, kind of a cartoon-like image that's a 3D cutout. And this looks decent enough also for 3D views. So if I were rendering a 3D view and I wanted to place a human over here, I guess I would use something like this. And here is something similar, uh, it's not an image, uh, when we zoom in, as you can see, this is actually modeled from a different, just sort of a plane, elements, extrusions. So we've got this man family, and if we go over here in the floor plan, as you can see, it's got a bit of thickness to it. So that's, that's pretty much what we have from that family. So those two families are something that I would consider using if I was rendering a 3D view like this one. So something like this. And if I just wanted to kind of enhance it a bit, I guess I would put him or her uh, over here just to kind of give you an idea of what uh, what a human looks like in this sort of an environment. Now let's go to 2D humans. So we've got this guy over here. Now it looks kind of weird if we go into 3D, as you can see, it's kind of one of those cardboard people and it looks uh, kind of funny. But uh, the point of this, is uh, this is more of an anima uh, oh, animation no annotation element so this is something you would add to enhance your uh, your sections or your uh, your elevations so if i go here to west elevation as you can see this is what it looks like so if i was going for just an elevation i would probably choose this one and this again is just to give you some idea of what uh, what a person looks like uh, compared to the house. So maybe if we didn't have these two, let's hide them. So hide element. Yeah, as you can see, it gives you some idea of how large a person is compared to the house. 
and uh, let's go to one of the inside 3d views so I think it's this one yeah here in the kitchen I've placed a few of them so again as you can see you can't really use this for your uh, your 3d views or your renderings it just looks silly it's like one of those cardboard people but if you're uh, just creating elevations or sections uh, so maybe let's go let's see can we move a section in such a way that we can see one of these yeah let's use this section perhaps let's move it here flip it around open it up yeah and as you can see this looks now nice so we've got a two two women talking over here and we've got this guy just sitting around so yeah that's something you would use to enhance your 2d views your sections and elevations and these other people uh, are something that you would use to enhance your your 3d views or your perspective views or even renderings but again for renderings I would uh, prefer using something like this because it looks a bit more realistic this is weird but if you have a weird project I guess you you could use one of these weird 3d humans but anyway so that's how you add humans in uh, in Revit and again I'm going to be including some links in the description or Revit files for my patrons on patreon first link in the description okay so that's pretty much it for this video tomorrow I'm coming in with another tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to add people in Photoshop and why I think that can be better in some cases Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.